This is part two of a series, and it's about Ray, who's right here, and Ashley, who are buying a house over in the Enclave. And in case you haven't watched it, part one is an interview with those guys uh, actually back at Ray's house, and we talk about all the things that have taken place so far, so you may want to watch that. And this is part two of that, where we're actually going to go to the lot to just go take a look at the lots and show you what that looks like from ground level, probably take the drone up also, and talk about some things that we didn't talk about in the first one. And also, since we waited a couple of days, uh, we're actually gonna ask answer maybe a couple of the questions that people already had in the comments from the first one. So here we go, we're taking off, and we're gonna go down and check it out. Ready? Ready to go. Okay, here we go. Like, like Ray said, he likes cars. <laughs> we're on our way down, and there were actually some questions from the first one, and Ray and I are gonna to try to answer those because we figure if one person had those questions, we probably all got them. And one of those questions was, are you allowed to have fences down here? In the Enclave, you are not. I know there are many neighborhoods that have uh, have walls around and things like that, but I don't think you can add a fence. Yeah, so e house. even these homes that we're passing right now, which are just, you know, not in like villas and stuff like that, there's usually no fences around them and you're not allowed to put fences around there. So that one kind of goes to that. The other question, that people had was also you had mentioned an air conditioner right that was that you upgraded to in the home that you're in just in case so you know ray bought bought a house that was it's not it's a custom home but what not a premier home it's what my my existing house yeah yeah uh that was a designer house that was a, a designer house right and so people asked about the the air conditioner that you quote upgraded or changed to because your friend recommended it. What was that? So my understanding is with the with the Florida humidity, there's some kind of two-stage air conditioner, and this is not my area of expertise, but uh, what it does, as I understand it, is it lowers the humidity without lowering the temperature, and, what it and, and then it, it keeps your electric bills lower. Um, so it runs at a lower rate all day? To, uh, to... I don't know if it's all day, but it runs at a lower speed and it squeezes the humidity out without lowering the temperature, uh, is the way I understand it. So that gives you, it's comfortable at a, at a little higher temperature. Right. So it, you know, you can, you can save on your electric bill. Uh, it makes the house more comfortable and saves electricity, but there's obviously a cost involved. To catch everybody up, since we waited a couple of days, we decided to wait because we could do, um, you just went to your first meeting with the uh, agent themselves, right? Right, yeah. The, the, and uh, what happened in that? Well, we had a preliminary design meeting where you, you got to walk around this building that has all the choices. So these are all the carpet colors, these are all the flooring colors, these are all the countertops, uh, cabinets, light fixtures, door handles, doors, whatever. Um, and so then within that, um, uh, you know, like these are the choices, and so we picked what we wanted, and, and uh, big surprise, the, the nicer stuff costs more. Right, but in, in this meeting, did you actually choose anything, or did, yes. we, did you? Yeah, we didn't, yeah, we made a kind of a, okay, yeah, we think we want all these things. A preliminary uh, guess. Preliminary, yeah, we didn't sign anything, we didn't pay for anything, it's just like, okay, this is what we think we want. Um, that gives us a few weeks to kind of ponder it before we actually sign on the dotted line and write a check. Right. And I'll reiterate this because it's it, it, if you haven't purchased in, in the villages or you don't know, it's really a good thing, and Ray was talking about how he did that, about how he knows about all these things, is to go to the open houses and go check them out because everything that is in these homes around here is all, uh, I, I'll say, logged in or accounted for, and they can just pull up the lot number and they know exactly what was put into that house. So that way, if uh, Ray and Ashley saw something they liked, they could say, oh, we liked it at such and such address or lot number, and that's the backsplash we want. Yeah, and that's mostly more so on the recently constructed houses. Right. I think if you went to a house that was built five or 10 years ago and say, oh, I really like this, you know, cabinet color or whatever, it, that may lo no longer be available. But the houses that have been built in the past several months, uh, that's 
what we focused on because we didn't want to fall in love with something that we couldn't get. But I'll ask about this one right away because I call it the extra man cave. Obviously, that was an upgrade. Have you heard any estimates on what it's going to cost you to add on the extra garage or anything? Um, I think it's around 25000 but that's not... Don't, don't quote me on that. Um, so what was the, the, what happened during this design meeting is the agent said, okay, this is this is where we are right now. So the base price of the house, I think, was in the low 700,000 range. Right. And then I said, oh, you want a, a fourth garage? Okay, that's an extra about 25,000. Not exactly about. Um, and so I, I, she just kept saying, okay, now this is a price. Now this is a price. And I was just kind of trying running a tally in my head. So I'm not going to remember everything. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I think that's important to say that. You know, you don't want to lock these prices in. You, you, you got to remember, too, we are not real estate agents. We don't work for the developer. And I think it's really important that I say that. And neither so do with, I. It, it, yes. And with, with that understanding, prices fluctuate all, all the time. So for somebody to ask me what my house would cost, my house, what it costs they ask all the time i i just say y y go go look at my bond and tax video and you'll be able to see exactly what i paid for it when i bought it because all that is is public knowledge now have you guys checked in to on these lots back here the bond level back here yeah it's 72 thousand I, I figured it was around 70. definitely if you're buying a house here you want to go back i'm not saying because it's my video but it's a very thorough video on the bonds, the taxes, and how to look that up. I'll make sure I put that down in the description down below, a, a link to that, but it's it's really important that you look at that because the, the, the bonds are based on how many units are in, how many lots are in a unit. And when you watch the video, you'll understand that and what the development was around there. And obviously, the time because they change all the time and they they fluctuate and it depends on on what lot you have in what unit so uh, with that said uh, also dealing with that is you also have some local taxes depending on where you are and your your fire assessment tax um, I hate to say it but it's probably going to change in the next couple of years and we will all see about that. So if you're planning on a couple of years, make sure you check into that also. Is there, have you checked into insurance at all yet? I currently use, uh, you know, State Farm, um, just cause, um, yeah. and, and I, uh, my, my premium went up this year versus last year, but not by a ridiculous amount. Yeah, um, I know a lot of people have questions about insurance and yeah. mine went up very little. I use USAA. <laughs> Okay. Um, so the, the you know their numbers tend to be down lower, but that's military. Any, anything else we can talk uh, uh, about that lot that would be peculiar to that back area back there? You can think of? Um, well, yeah, I've had a chance to meet a few more of the neighbors since the earlier video, and so uh, been been uh, been fun. So far, everybody seems pretty pretty uh, cool. Um, yeah, I, th I think somebody wrote something already in the comments. Hi. They're buying next door to you or near oh, you or something oh, like okay, that. Oh, cool. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, Ray's going to go back and check on yeah. some of the comments and stuff like that. And thanks a lot for everybody that wrote wrote things already. Well, we'll between the two of us, we'll try to answer questions, hopefully, oh, yeah. <laughs> if we can. And so since we've been talking this whole time, we're pretty much here right now. So that's how long it took to, to, to get back here. We're actually pulling up on the entrance right now. This is a, a really nice little drive right along here, kind of a nice little pond, and we're in what I call, and I'll, I'll show you a map of this again, but I call it the first lobe of uh, the Enclave, and then there's you know a, a different area back further, so it's kind of separated into two things. And then the name of the lake that's right next to this up there is? Uh, lake Denham, I believe. Lake Denham. And I, I'll, I'll show you in a second. I, I have some aerial video and stuff like that we'll have of it. And as, as you pull into this area, uh, Ray's place is very close, but we'll run by the, show you the little post office. It's a lot smaller than the other ones. How many lots are in here? 121. 121 lots. So the, the uh, 
And very small postal stations. Yeah, as you can see, the postal station is really small. By the way, one of the lots, the most expensive lot, um, has shown up as being available, then sold, then available again, then sold again. Now it's available again. So uh, I don't know what's going on with that one. Well, this is, this is the one. We'll, we'll drive by it in a second. Yeah. First, we'll take a look at uh, Ray's lot right here. And uh, well, actually, we'll try to answer some questions as we do a little walk and talk on the way out there. You brought up the fact that the most expensive lot, which we'll show you, show you back there, actually went in and out of sale. And you said you gave a reason why you thought Possibly. Now these are guesses. Yeah, we ju yeah. We're just guessing. Yeah, it's a total guess on my part. But but so this, the shape of these lots and some of the some of the things, like I mentioned earlier in the, in the first video, that uh, the house I wanted with the pool I wanted with the garage I wanted wouldn't fit on most of the lots. And so I uh, so that's possible that these people bought the lot and they said, okay, we want to put this on it, and they found out it didn't work. Try to do your research beforehand. Uh, if you have a model picked out, how many square feet they're going to need. And you know, if you call, if you call the villages, the agents are always willing to help you out. And I can tell you, and, and, and like we said before, we don't we don't work for the villages, nope. but through our own personal experiences, uh, it's extremely low pressure. Right. And uh, there's just so many people willing to help you out. Uh, you know, the properties and houses and everything sell themselves. You just got to make sure that you're kind of fitting in the things that you want and whether it'll fit on the lot or not. So let's take a look at your lot. So here we go. He has got the big corner. And we'll definitely get you an aerial shot of this. So it goes from this post right here. Right, the gray post right, there, right, back to the black post. Right down right there, there, back to that post. Uh -huh. Probably a little little past of the uh, that fire plug over there. The insurance company will be happy that he's got water right on his lot. Right. And so how big is this exactly? It's about 21,000 square feet. Okay, 21,000 square feet. And I think we talked about before that he wants to put that four car garage on there in a pool. So you need that extra, and you, uh, extra, space. extra space. And there was only what, two lots? That you, there was only two lots they told us that, that would fit what, handle what, everything we wanted. So what we looked at on when we, when we went to the, the design meeting yesterday is like, we want um, uh, you know, this kind of cop, these flooring, that kind of stuff. So I didn't want any carpet in the, in the house because of pets. Um, so we went with LVP flooring throughout. I think it's about an extra 15,000 to have that LVP, the, well, with the, the style I picked out. So that's not an exact number, but I think it's around that. Um, the, probably the biggest surprise is how much the countertops cost. Um, so we ended up with the $15,000 upgrade for countertops, which seems silly to me, but um, I really like them, so. <laughs> uh, there you go. And, uh, and the, the, there's, because of the size of the house, there's two air conditioners. And so the upgrade in the air conditioner was 4,000 per, so it's $8,000 extra for the two air conditioners. Um, and those are the big items, the garage, the countertops, the flooring and the air conditioners. And then there's a whole bunch of smaller items uh, that added up to about $10,000. Um, the, the upgraded backslash, the upgraded tile in the shower, the uh, upgraded light of course, fixtures. Of course the garage was a chunk, right? The garage was, uh, yeah, that was 25. Right, and they uh, say anything about the pool? Because everybody's going uh, right to Right now, about that's the pool. still a question mark. We're going to have to address Just because it. there's new model pools coming yeah, up. Yeah, and we, I just don't know. Right, um, we, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, so, uh, yeah. Have can no I take a walk back? Yeah, yeah. So, well, as um, you can see, this is a pretty good lot. He's got a lot of, lot of view here. Yeah, I think it's going to be beautiful. Very quiet. And, and like I said, I'll, uh, I, I'm sure we'll be back on this for the uh, housewarming party, so to speak. <laughs> right. But right over it. here, now right over here, and I'll give you a shot of this. Actually, I'll bring the drone in from back there. So there's going to be a, uh, this is a larger lot right here, right? Right, yep. Okay, and back there is a open field. Right, yeah. And just beyond those trees is the lake. Yeah, Lake Denham. And, uh, and there's a little creek that connects it to Lake Harris. So I'm kind of curious if you could kayak from this lake to the other lake. I don't know. It's kind of curious. So yeah, that might be something to be fun to find out. Yes, you'll be able to explore on, on your bike. Yeah. So that's about it. We're going to take a little bit more of a ride around here. Let's talk about something we haven't talked about so far, and that's lot premium. And do you want to explain how that works? Yeah, so the way they do it here is so you're, you, you pick out a lot, and the, the, these lots are priced anywhere from the low, uh, the one here on the right on this corner is uh, 49000 uh, It's a smaller lot. Um, mine was 109000 
Um, the uh, the one that we're going to drive by here in a second is going to it was two hundred forty nine thousand. That's the one that keeps getting sold and, and not sold, and of course I don't know why. Uh, it could be any number of reasons why. But yeah, uh, and, and like we said, a lot of times it's because somebody yeah. gets the gets the lot and then realizes things that won't fit. Yeah. So that's this lot. It's really a beautiful lot. Um, yeah, and you pay a little bit more to, to back up to trees than, uh, or back up to a, a water feature than uh, than an interior lot. Obviously, you pay a little bit more for a big lot than a small lot. The way it kind of works in the village is whether you're back here or not. And like I say, things change all the time. You need to talk to a sales agent. But there's a basic in an area. There's a basic price for a lot. A lot. And as you gain different features. In other words, backs up to a golf course, backs up to water, backs up to a, a forest, is a corner lot, is a larger lot. They add a little bit to the price of it. So it's bumped up, they call them bumps. So if, you got a, if you're on a, a golf course and water, you got a double bump. Um, you put a corner lot in, now you got three bumps. And that, that's just really basic, but you know, you're gonna pay, pay for that. Yeah, then they, they put them out there and people, uh, you know, the, the one, the most desirable ones seem to get snapped up pretty fast and and uh, and then they, they all end up selling. Yep. Now we are just exiting the entrance to that. So I think we covered a lot of stuff in there, yeah. just basically about the lot and that's what we wanted to do. Right. If uh, it's subscribe and please like this if you like this series it really helps when you hit the little thumbs up button but when you subscribe make sure the bell will come up hit the top bell that says all and the only thing that'll happen is is when you turn on youtube it'll bring if we've done another one of these videos it'll bring up that vid the follow-on video we're going to try to see what we can do with the design part and that happens when uh, so that's the first week in October. First week in October. We're going to try to get on that and see how we can treat that and see what happens with that. And then also we'll be following, I guess we'll, follow, we'll go down a few times while they're building the house and you guys will be able to take a look at it. And yeah, walk through and yeah. see uh, as it's getting... As yeah, it's getting well, yeah, well, yeah, we can just take a walk through it and check it out and stuff like that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. This is, this is going to be a lot of fun. And I, I, don't, I don't know whether I've seen this done by anybody as one of these videos, but I'm going to try to do a series of the, uh, I, I'll say, upper end homes. So if you're a real estate agent, I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway, and you have a really high-end home that it, it, you'd like to do a little walkthrough, you can contact me through the comments. I, I see the comments before they go out, so if it's personally addressed to me, nobody else will see it, and that type of thing. So, you and Ashley are probably pretty excited, and it's not done fast enough. Right, yeah, 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 yeah we're... We're excited about the process too. It's really been fun uh, looking at the houses and looking at all the choices we have and talking about you know what we want, what we don't want, and uh, and you know, as we said in the earlier video, we really have not come up with a single item that uh, that that we disagree on. Uh, I'm, well, I'll tell you what. When I find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure we can come up with something yeah, yeah. if you really try. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's it. Thanks a lot for joining us. Really appreciate it. And like I always say, I'll either see you back here on YouTube or I will see you down in the villages. Don't be afraid to stop by and say hello unless I'm out in a private dinner or something like that. Anyway, have a wonderful day. And I can't believe football season's starting, so that's what I'm going to do. Go watch the Eagles play, as you all know. Have a great day. Thanks. Say goodbye, Ray. Goodbye, Ray. Okay, we'll see you later.